the chicken contest was the chicken from, the, is it the Popeye's chicken sandwich, right? I never tried that one. Oh, no, no. Not the Popeye's, the Wendy's chicken sandwich. That's what oh, yeah, like. okay, it does taste like mm -hmm. that. That's 100%. very accurate. Yeah, it does. 100%. I like this chicken. It's not too crispy. Got a little bit of pepper. Mm hmm The pickles are good. A little too much mayo. Mm -hmm. no, I got all over my fingers. Personal preference. Solid. I buy the chicken salad sandwich again. Wait, let's rate the chicken one out of 10. Let me give it 8.9. 8. That's <laughs> next. Mr. Beast. <laughs> I was gonna tilt it, but I know it's gonna drop it. Mustard. I'm not a fan of mustard. Look at that much. It doesn't look like the regular mustard. Like this, it looks like fresh mustard. Ooh, it's weird mustard. Oh no. <laughs> the beef is really good. It is. It's a solid normal burger. Better than the McDonald's I had yesterday. I would prefer it without the mustard. I wish that was an option online when you ordered it. I like the pickles. It kind of tastes like a better quality Burger King to me. I was thinking P. Terry's. Yeah, that's P. Terry's right there. Better version of P. Terry's. And this one? 7.5. Six and a half. Yeah. I would have gone to seven or higher if there was no mustard. It tastes mustard. like a generic burger to me. Yeah, you're right. This is crisp. There's the fries in it. That's the main difference between this one. Excited for the fries. Seasoned fries. Is that all it is? Fries, lettuce, <laughs> cheese. cheese. Cream's gonna come in then. I like this one. The seasoning on the fries is good. It's very southern. It tastes very country, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's like a country burger. Like something you would get at Don's. Don's barbecue, yeah. <laughs> Why is that so accurate? <laughs> They don't serve burgers like this, but <laughs> if you were to get a burger from that place, it tastes like this. It tastes like you got it from a nice barbecue restaurant. <laughs> I think it's a seasoning with um, paprika. Mm-hmm. And the garlic on it too. I would say like an eight. Pulling between an eight and a nine. It's a, I think I'm just gonna give it a nine. We still have one more to go. Alright, this is Chandler. Chandler. Makes this one different. Chandler is two smash beef patties without seasoning. They're playing with American cheese on a bun. All right, so this is like basic. I might like this one. Not that I'm basic. <laughs> kind of tastes like a water burger. If I had this with ketchup, it tastes more like water burger. Yeah, it's kind of dry. That's mm -hmm. why. I think water burger tastes really dry. All right, let's put some ketchup on it. See if it tastes better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's better. Better. This tastes like a water burger. I like it. Like, I don't normally like dry burgers, but that was good. It has good flavor. Yeah, it came better with the ketchup for sure. I would say seven. Seven and a half. Only because I added the ketchup. <laughs> and that last bite, I got like hit with the seasoning. And it was like extra seasoning right there. I got a pocket of seasoning <laughs> right on the edge. <laughs> the dream. This bacon tastes a little weird. Like I normally, I eat bacon. Like I eat pork bacon sometimes. But I would rather not eat any bacon than eat this one. It tastes like funky. <laughs> it tastes like it was left out. So we we already eaten a whole burger, and we still have a third of another burger to go. Man, we're pretty quick. Not gonna lie. I think we took out the onions. I don't know the fan of the onions. That was a big burp. That hurt. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, it's a lot it's of onions. Lettuce, mayonnaise, pickle, bacon, and onions. beef, beef, cheese, cheese, bacon, guacamole. It's a bit of guacamole. I don't see any onions in mine. I think it's camouflage. <laughs> and lettuce. <laughs> Two beef patties. <laughs> It's like ding -dong. This okay. bun is thicker than some of the others. Ugh. Some of the other bread is thinner. I don't know if it's just because it was smushed down, this one wasn't, or if this is just literally a bigger piece of bread. Cause like- Loki looks like a bigger piece of bread. <laughs> to compare. <laughs> <laughs> the guacamole tastes fresh, like you got it from an actual restaurant. Right. I put a big chunk of bacon in there. I don't taste it at all. We never have guacamole on a, bit, <laughs> on a burger like this. I'm intrigued. I don't know what to think. <laughs> it's kind of strange. 
the guacamole definitely made this so hard for me to eat. The, the patty went that way and the bread went this way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that happened to me too, but <laughs> I was holding it with all of my fingers. Now it's just like avocado toast. <laughs> so I think it tasted good. It was just really difficult for me to eat with all 10 fingers yeah, wrapped I, around it. I really only, I didn't really taste the guacamole. I tasted the pickles. I first thought it was straight avocado. I like that one. It's just hard to eat. The pickles elevated, for sure. Yeah. It wouldn't be as good if it's the bacon didn't there. help. Like I, I don't think I tasted that bacon at all. It was not a factor at all. Let me do less guacamole, just a little bit. It would have been, been better if it was just a like thin spread. Yeah, they just, just they just threw. It. <laughs> yeah, if you look at this, they just threw it all over. Or it. put some fries in there so it it out holds a on bit. to it. I like that one. I'd say seven point eight. It would go higher yeah. to an eight or higher. The avocado did not make it so hard to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna get just accept that. Two more. All right, Carl, that's seven point eight. Carl's two sandwiches. This one's filled with onions. Yeah, it wouldn't. There was no option to take onions out. I can't even peel mine apart. It's like the stickers. Oh, it's like the caramelized onions. They have it like water burger. It's gonna be hard to get out. I don't mind the onions. I just prefer not to eat it. Shame. I mean, oh my. God. I don't like onion breath. Do you like onion breath? <laughs> I don't like onion breath. No, I like it just as much as like garlic breath. I'm looking at it and I just lick my finger from the onions. Don't think I'm gonna like it too much. Also, it looks like it needs a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's see what the deluxe has in it. Patty melt served with Carl's style with a crispy seasoned beef patty, caramelized onion and cheese, and a toasty inverted bun. They just take the bun and flip it. <laughs> like instead of using this side, you flip it and then use the outside as normal. Oh. On that. Yours looks like it's inverted. I feel like mine looks like a normal sandwich, but it's the same piece. <laughs> Alright. Tastes like a Philly cheesesteak. I'm not a fan of Philly cheesesteak either. It's very cheesy. Very American. Cheesy. If I liked onions, I think the onions would have been a good substitute for a pickle. But since I don't like onions, I think I want a pickle on it. Let's pickle right there. <gasps> mm -hmm. I like this. You? Yeah. But I think I like cheese. <laughs> so, good old fashioned American cheese. Mm -hmm. I, I like crunchy. This isn't like. Your typical American cheese you would put on, I think this is like the cheese melt kind of stuff. It's different than the, the other cheeses. Yeah, this is like the, the grilled cheese melt that they make for grilled cheese. So if you're like just to like make your own grilled cheese with like stuff you buy at the store, that's not the cheese that you would use. Mm -hmm. If I like onions, I rate it higher. But I like the onions because it's crunchy, but I don't like the taste of it. So putting the pickle in it made it a plus. I think it's an eight and a half. I'm gonna get it. Not six. a nine because of the onions. A six. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because of the onions. <laughs> Our last one. It's normal grilled cheese. The inverted patty. That looks perfect. <laughs> Just eat it. That was bread. a nice cut. Props to myself. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> this one's cold. <laughs> Cold. Because we left it out, but overall it's a good one. I like it. If it was fresh, yeah, the cheese is kind of hard. <laughs> the cheese is hard. It's not like it's it stringy. But if you look at it, it looks like it would be stringy if we microwaved it again. So we microwaved it. I don't want to microwave. I still have three other. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to finish any of them. I don't blame you. Uh, I'm not like finish this. <laughs> it's a really good grilled cheese. Like it's just one I would make. But also, I can use at home. And that was better cheese, I feel like. I like Havarti cheese. Or smoked Gouda. Oh, I definitely had that. I'm, I'm more of a mozzarella provolone mm -hmm. person myself. <laughs> and the Mexican four cheeses. Mexican four cheeses. Oh, and smoked cheddar. I put hot sauce in every single one of mine. Oh. 
sticker lid. I don't mind really ketchup, and I normally like my girl's pink ketchup, so we're fine. The fries came in this cute little box. I rate this a 9, because this is a solid grilled cheese. I would eat this again. Yeah. But I would prefer to make my own. Yeah, I'll give it a 9, too. And the fries are pretty good. Season They're fries. not spicy at all. It was like, like, pepper, garlic. Like, and they say it lightly salted. They really mean lightly. So like, if I ate this blindly, I would not taste the seasoning. <laughs> yeah, spicy red pepper, garlic, paprika, sugar, and a hint of lime. There's not even there's not even a <laughs> hint of lime. There's no lime. I don't taste the sugar either. I would really like a pinch. Yeah, that's very so, lightly. Yeah, some of the fries are like this. Not this fry all. has like no seasoning at all. But this one is like covered in it. You should like put it inside a bag and cook it up. I like it. Oh, they're cold right now. But if they were warm, they'd be fine. But I don't. They're not bad. They're good. They need season. They need more seasoning if it's going to be called seasoned fries. I personally don't care for crinkle fries. Six. That's my least favorite type of fry. For the seasoning, six because like overall, it was a fries. Okay, like it's not. I would like it to be more crispy. They're a little too soft. <laughs> like, these are the type of fries crispy? that you bought. They're like these are what you get from movies. Yes, you're right. Oh my god, and they're somewhere else too, but I can't. Yeah, there's another place that gives more. Well, <laughs> if they are more seasoned, I would rate it a seven point five. But since it's not more seasoned, seven. Yeah, we're giving it a six. And that's pretty high because I don't like crinkle fries. I like curly fries. I like waffle fries. Donald oh fries. no, the the crinkle fries are like the kind that you buy like to eat, you know. So, the ones that, that you just, just put into the, the oven. oven. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what, what those, those are. are. And That's like, exactly. you know, if you don't cook them long enough, they're, they're like still watery and soggy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Overall, aesthetically experience, Aesthetic 10 out of 10. Even the boxes, like look at the out boxes. Out and the stickers are so cute. Boxes. I like the boxes. It looks like... stickers <laughs> here. It looks like, um, did you ever watch Thundercats? I don't think so. It looks like a mixture of that and like the old fashioned Marvel. It's, yeah, it's kind of like a 50s cartoon superhero. 50s cartoon superhero. I think it's just because of the primary colors. That's good. Wait, overall? Well, I would buy most of these again, except for, except for Chandler. <laughs> I'd buy that one ever again. Yeah, even though I liked the dream, I don't think I would buy it again. I don't think I would. I don't like work. working for my food. <laughs> so I wouldn't buy the dream again. So. Manhandling it. Yeah. The only two that I think I would buy again is the grilled cheese, this one, and even though I like dreams, I don't think I'm gonna ever get it again, so I'll get the chicken. I'll put the chicken one, I'll put my top two. And the, the fries are just lackluster. Like, go get fries at like <laughs> Chick fil A or Wendy's or McDonald's, you know? <laughs> they don't put fries in this. <laughs> so I had to sneeze like, burp. <laughs> My least favorite would be the grilled cheese deluxe. Just because deluxe. I don't like onions. But if it wasn't, if they changed the onions for pickles, that would be my favorite. Also, the bacon sucked. <laughs> but it just feels like it was left out. Actually, it is left out right now <laughs> on the side of the table. So maybe that's why it tastes nasty. Alright, which one was your favorite? Uh, which one was the fries here? Chris. That one's my favorite. Chris. I think that's my favorite too. The little Southern Texan. Yes. <laughs> and then my second would be the the grilled cheese pieces. I mean, they're the same thing basically. My second would be the chicken. I'm not big on chicken sandwiches, but that was a solid chicken sandwich. Yeah. Third place would be dreams. I think. Because my beef style was like okay. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a good old fashioned burger. I think Mr. Beast is my third. <laughs> wow, well, hey, we agreed. Ch uh, Chandler, you're the winner. No, it's not Chandler, sorry, Chris. <laughs> Chris is the winner. We're lying, you suck. <laughs>